Hey everyone, this is Dr. Binning. I wanted to go over the instructions on this video of how to collect a sample for a organic acids test. Um, it's very simple, but um, there's some key things you should keep in mind. Um, this is what the test kit looks like, this little box here. In the top you'll find some paperwork, and these are the things you should do right away as soon as you get the test kit. Make sure the test requisition form is actually completed. Um, so this part was, is done by us, and you'll fill out the patient information and the method of payment. The other thing you need to make sure you fill out is the date you have the sample collection. There's another form in here for you to fill out, which is just a health survey questionnaire. Um, you, it's pretty straightforward. Just go through, fill out whatever applies to yourself. Um, and make sure this gets sent back along with this and it can go on the top of the box right in here. So you just complete these forms first and tuck them away. Um, just remember to put the date you do the sample collection. So tuck them away up here so you don't lose them. And there is also a instructions um, manual and you can read through this. Um, I always recommend you read, read through this along with watching this video. Um, but all the instructions are also in there. When you actually open up the kit, you'll find shipping information. And whenever you're shipping a test kit, there's forms that you need to fill out. So for this particular kit, the lab pays for your shipping to send it to the lab office in the States. So you'll fill out the sender's name, which is your name, your address, and so on and so on. And then you also have to fill out what's called a commercial invoice um, for Canadian shipments, which just basically is your name and address again. And then you will have to ship the kit from either a FedEx Depot or schedule a pickup from FedEx. Um, do not drop it in some box you see at, by the side of the road that says FedEx on it. Okay, so either call them or go to the depot yourself and, and ship it from there. Now, this is everything you need for the test kit itself. So inside this bag is a freezer bag a uh, plastic vial, a pipette, and an absorbent pad. The absorbent pad stays in the bag. What you should do now is take a per permanent marker and write your name and date of birth on the side of this plastic vial. If you don't do that and they receive a vial without a name, um, they don't process, the lab won't process the specimen because they don't know who it belongs to and therefore they don't know who to bill. So you make sure you put your name and your date of birth on here and then you are pretty much ready to collect your urine. You would basically what you need to do to prepare for your urine collection is you need to the day prior to your collection is restrict your water intake. So you don't want to in that 24 hour period before you collect your urine don't have more than three eight ounce glasses of water and after 8 p.m. don't have more than one 8 ounce glass of water. Um, before you go to sleep the night prior to making your urine collection, um, empty your bladder. If you wake up at nighttime at all to go to the bathroom, then collect that urine as well. So you'll just collect it into a clean container and when you wake up in the morning and you have your first um, urination, then what you would do is collect that um, sample as well. And what you do is, once your urine is collected, you take this pipette and you pipette over, you take 12 millimeters, 12 milliliters, sorry, and put it into the clear vial, which has a marker for 12 milliliters right here, so about 80% full, and fill up to the 12 milliliter line with urine, and you put the cap back on and you put this into the bag here along with the freezer pack and you close it and then what you do is stick this into the freezer until it's frozen. Now once it's frozen it's ready for shipping so you can store this all together in the fridge like this is which, what, what I would recommend but like I said once it's frozen it's ready for shipping and if you filled out all the paperwork ahead of time and the shipping information you're done. Um, all you have to do is drop it off at FedEx for the, for the shipping. Okay, I hope this helps simplify the process for the organic acids sample collection. Um, it's pretty straightforward.
So I hope that takes a little bit of the stress out of this process and you find it easy to do. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.